it's been a long time since I've played Bid Battles, and now we have a second floor and some other updates. So we're gonna hop in, check it out. Now guys, I used to go crazy at Bid Battles. I played daily, I tried climbing the leaderboards and everything, and then, I don't know, man. I just... I guess there wasn't really a way to keep progressing without spending an absolute ton of Robux, of course. This Sky Plaza thing is new. I have no idea what this is, so let's check it out. And guys, make sure to drop a like if you do want me to get back into bid battles. The second floor thing is so hype. I'm gonna have to check that out for sure. Um, okay. Is this like a donate? Live purchases. Okay, top spenders. That one's not quite loaded. Okay, so this seems like... What, what do we do here? We have a spin the wheel. Let's spin this. Let's see what we get. Oh, big gems would be nice, but small gems, of course. 200, not bad. How do we buy this stuff? What is this? This item item is flyable? What? All right, we have a market right here. Okay, so this looks like this is like the most valuable stuff. Someone's sending us a trade. Let's give them this plane ticket. <laughs> They're gonna see so fast that I have actually nothing of value, but this plane ticket is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we have Values of cereals here, which is really nice to know. Sky Plaza servers. Okay, you can buy spin tokens. There was just a super loud sound, bro. I don't even know what that was for, but it sounded very victorious. I think this is just an area that you can actually trade people. I'm a bit confused with how all this stuff works. Like, why is this on a pedestal and this? And how do I make an offer on it? I genuinely don't know. So someone's gonna have to catch me up on this whole trade plaza thing. Let's go check out what this second floor is. All right, guys, we are loading back in. Let's see. So let's hop into our base, our black and gold base and nice, nice. And let's see. So floor one, interesting. Oh my God, 25 thousand gems oh my that's that's kind of a lot i'm not gonna lie i will just jump <laughs> now if i remember right i don't actually have any more gem safes let's see yeah i have two lucky safes and a lava one or a volcano save nothing really that's gonna get me gems also how would i set up my second floor i wonder if that would be the one with all of the business and then the first floor would be all of the cool stuff like make my base really nice to show people but second floor is all business we have our little trading zone for net world builder trade me okay i got you man do you want the plane ticket i have the best things what is this guy all right you know what i really think how much would 25,000 gems be okay this is 10,000 for 3,900 robux however I do believe there is a double gems. That would put us at 20,000, and we almost have 500. That is like 4K Robux. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're actually gonna do it. Hold on. This guy wants me to trade him again. I don't know why. We're getting a... Bro, just gave us a cereal for nothing. Yo! Okay. Um, sheesh. Yo, that's fire, dude. We gotta add it. We gotta add it. This is our cereal room. We now have four cereals. Yo, that's fire, bro. Look at us. Fire. Thank you, bro. The real uh, J... Uh, oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, thanks, though, man. That's fire. All right, guys, the moment has come. First things first, we need to go to some auctions. Uh, maybe spend some Robux and Disco the place with tokens. Okay, I'm guessing people really want that. And Robuilder, put me in your video. Well, here you are. Uh, guys, we need to go to the auction just because there is a gem farm method. And we're gonna need to use that just to get this to 500. And then we'll buy the double gems and the 10,000 gems, which will give us the 20,000. All we have to do here is buy the first unit, guys, and then we're outie. It's pretty much impossible to lose money and only gaining in gems, so it's a great thing. So now that we got that first unit, we can go ahead and just leave because we can't carry more items than uh, one unit anyways. So let's leave that. Let's keep all of this stuff, not the raft. That is a big item. Uh, we just want the small ones, guys. The price doesn't exactly matter as much as the item size, I guess. So we made 49 bucks, and now all we do is put all of those items out here onto this. I'm really gonna have to clean out this inventory. If it's not worth something, it's going away. I'm selling it. Oh wait, the potato is needed. Give the potato back. <laughs> 
that's a series idea as well, guys. Let me know if you want to see a series where I trade the potato up from being a potato to being a cereal, which would be insane. And it's like possible, but I don't know uh, exactly how I want to do the series because obviously there's some people that are like, yo, Robot, I'm a fan. Here's a cereal, you know, like it just happened like 10 minutes ago or less, like maybe two minutes ago. I got this free cereal. Ooh, which I forgot to actually, I forgot to take it off sale. You hate this story. That's actually pretty rude, lady. All right, there we go. It is now off sale. And guys, this is why this gem, gem method works so good. So you line up all these conveyors and then they're all at the end. Look at this. I have four, four, three gems. Let me go ahead and buy that double gems real quick for 400 Robux. There we go. Now we have that for 30 minutes. And now we just spam accept on all of these. Okay, that time I actually got zero gems, which is kind of tough. I'm not even going to lie. Let's go ahead and buy this, which is a ton of Robux, but it is needed to buy that second floor. And we are just going to do our gem method for uh, for the rest of them. I don't think there's a point to spend any more Robux. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get any gems from that. All right, this guy just asked me to trade him, and it looks like he's giving me some limiteds, some epics, just some, some fun stuff. So we'll probably end up selling most of this. The gold grade is kind of nice. Uh, so maybe we'll end up making one of those into a mythic. I don't think I have this graded. Oh, I do. I have one white gold grade. So we're one step closer to that. Let me make sure to tell him thank you. All right, now guys, while we have these double gems, we need to list up all of this stuff. I love this conveyor strategy because all the NPCs pile up at the end and you can just auto collect all of the gems, which is really nice. One thing I might do now that we have two floors is make one floor filled with conveyors, guys, and filled with a layout like this to where I can set the whole floor up as a spot to like sort of gem farm NPCs. I think that'd be really, really fun and probably a sick video. Let me get all of the rest of this stuff put up. This guy got the fit. <laughs> nice shirt, bro. All right, let's see. We got a basketball. We got a wrench. We got the duck. Guys, we're about to have this second floor, which is actually going to be so sick. I think that's everything I want to list. Uh, the limiteds, I'm not sure if they're worth anything, but we'll keep them for now. And then the potato, we gotta save. So look at this, guys. I just turned the camera, wait for all of them to pile up, start accepting. Look at this. There we go. We just got 10 gems right there. That is surprising. I do feel like I used to get so many more gems. I can't even lie. But let me go ahead and farm up just to get these last 50 and then we'll buy that second floor. Okay, now we definitely got them. Let's buy floor two. Yes, here we go. Look at this blank canvas, guys. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Let me know what you guys think we should do with this whole blank canvas. I think we're gonna do one floor as a super nice, like, aesthetic build and the other floor is all business. A trading area for net trades. And then, of course, an NPC gem farm area as well. All right, I'm gonna go rain tokens. I don't know how much it costs, but um, I'm gonna do it. So let's see, and then, and then we'll probably wrap this one up. I do gotta give back, man. I feel like I haven't been with the community in forever, and I honestly miss it. So we're gonna hop to the Sky Plaza, and we are gonna go rain some tokens real quick, make a lot of people a little bit happier, because guys, it is the season. Whether you like it or not, okay? I'm not the person that waits till after Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. My Christmas tree is already up. I can guarantee this. Now, I'm gonna give a couple people uh, just a couple minutes to join, and then I'm gonna make this make this thing rain. How much does it cost? Events. It really costs 2,500? Okay, listen, buddy. I didn't think it was gonna be this much. I gotta be honest, I'll do it because I said I would, but I did not think it was gonna be this much. That's actually, this better give everybody like a lot, bro, cause that's crazy. Um, you purchased Disco Rain. All right, there we go, we're partying. We're partying. Oh, we actually have to pick them up? Oh, it better just give me some, bro. Some spin tokens. You actually have to pick them up, bro. That's kind of like crap for the person who bought it, no? Dang. I can't lie. It's not great, bro. You see the person who spends the money. <laughs> I guess the people who buy this actually more so buy it to help out the community, not really for themselves. Because you could buy the other one for cheaper for yourself. So I guess it makes sense. Looks like all the ones up here got picked up. All right. 
There it goes. All right, so how many do I have? Five, I've got five. Okay, so while we have double gems, I'm gonna try to just auto spin this. Oh wait, we have one trade coming in. Oh snap, he's, he's giving me my spins. These are also tradable, which is interesting. I wonder how much net these are worth. Maybe I shouldn't spin. I'm gonna spin once, but I'm not gonna after that. Here it goes. Oh, let me get the jackpot. 273 gems, you know? Not bad. Guys, I think that's wrapping it up for today. We have a second floor, which means a lot more content is possible. And there's this plaza thing, which I'm definitely going to have to learn how to use and everything like that. But I am excited to be back on Bid Battles. This will not be the only game we upload over here. I'm kind of just exploring and seeing what we have the most fun with. The Heavenly Wheel Spin.